Good morning, YouTube. So with today's video, this is going to be a DK review of Zadig and Voltaire. This is him, Vibes of Freedom. Did I hear the most beautiful word of freedom? Really? Do you really have to make a cameo? These people saw you last weekend. Please, just go away. Why do I gotta go? I, hey, man. You know what? You are just rude. If they want to see you, I will attach the link of the video that you did last weekend towards the end of this video, right? Just go away. Please, go. Sorry about that, I really can't stand that character. Anyways, this fragrance was launched in 2022, so this year, and it's classed as an aromatic fougere. The note breakdown for this one here, I ended up getting my notes off of Parfumo.net. It is quite similar to Fragrantica, but there is one small difference. Now, the, the top notes of this one here are gonna be Mandarin and Lavender, with it being cardamom and frankincense. On Fragrantica, it's actually cardamom and incense, with the base being cedar and patchouli. So what do I get from this scent here? I ended up wearing this every single day this week. It's actually now Saturday. This opens up with Mandarin and Lavender. The Lavender does add that fougere feel. I actually like the opening. The Mandarin doesn't really stick around all that long, but the cardamom does come in quite quickly. I would say like within like a minute or two. The cardamom does add that nice warm spicy nuance. The cardamom in this. Okay, cardamom, just plain and simple, is one of my favorite notes, all right? I find it's, and it adds a little bit of a sexy nuance to it. I don't know, like cinnamon and cardamom just add that playful sexiness to it, in my opinion. But the cardamom also adds a little bit of sweetness. There is some sweetness to this fragrance here. Then towards the mid and the base, it's relatively linear. You're still gonna get that lavender and cardamom, but it becomes woody and there's like an ambry type of vibe. I don't know where that comes from. I don't know if it's from the, the frankincense or what, but there is that ambry vibe to my nose. This fragrance I actually do enjoy. It's nothing new, it's nothing groundbreaking. It's very mass appealing, but it has a little bit of sensuality to it because of that cardamom and that ambry feel to it. This is not like the original, this is him. And if if I didn't go to Ireland back in 2016, I doubt I would have ever smelled anything from Zedig and Voltaire. So if you like something that's more like sandwoody, like woody and incense-y, stick with the original. This is definitely not it, all right? So fresh, spicy, ambery, woody. This is, I would say, is a spring all the way to fall fragrance. You can get away with it in the summertime. With the note breakdown, you're thinking this is just like a colder season scent. It's actually a light fragrance, which is kind of surprising based off the notes. The lavender, because of that lavender, I think that you can get away with it in the summertime, all right? But more when it's not so humid. If you want to wear it on a night out, it's a great night out fragrance, but this is like an everyday scent, like an everyday casual fragrance. That's actually good enough for the office, but I think it would do great just casually. Speaking of casually, if you're, if you're feeling the name, Vibes of Freedom, well, just vibes. And if you want a vibe, check out Bishop Briganti, battle rap legend from Toronto. Love his music, I love his merch. Free plug for him, his link will be down below, okay? He doesn't ask me to do this. I just love the guy, I just love what he does. But white t-shirt, black t-shirt, jeans, you can rock to school on a casual night out, on an actually like a casual date. So if you're going to like dinner and like mini putt or like a movie with your girlfriend, this is a nice scent where she's gonna have to get close to you because projection off this is not great. That's the downfall with this scent. Longevity is great though, eight to nine hours, but projection is like, it's mild. That's, that's the downfall with this scent. But if you wanna look at the positive from that aspect, people will have to get into your space if that's what you want. Wife's thoughts, wife gets the lavender, the cardamom, and the woods, and she does like it. In the end, guys, I think that this is a fragrance that you should look into. If you like fresh fragrances with some spicy nuance and woods and like an ambery feel, maybe the amber is just on my skin, but I do get that amber feel. Then look into it. If you want something that's a little bit playful, a little bit casual, this is maybe a fragrance that you might want to look into. I ended up getting my DK from myfragrancesamples.com. I'm not sponsored, I just get a lot of my stuff from them. And guys, that is my review of Zadig and Voltaire. This is him, Vibes of Freedom. Did someone say freedom? Go away. Oh, God, you're annoying. You're a jerk. If you want to see the video of that character, check out this corner here and whatever pops up here. And before you go, please make sure to give me one of these as I really would appreciate it and it does help with the channel. And also, if you want to check out Bishop Brigante, links will be down below as well. Guys, thank you for your time, take care, and I will see you 
Later. God, that guy is... That guy is so annoying, man.